Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm going to review a pen that I received as a gift some years ago from my mother and it is this pen. It is a rod ring. So let's take a look and see. This pen came inside of a similar box to this one, similar case. It was a silver colored one, now it broke, but I have several of these because I think these really are good ways to protect your pens. Let's take the pen out and take a look at it. First, with this color balance uh, here in the video because of the lighting, it may look a little bit purplish, but I think it is blue, but it's not that easy to see. Uh, even not uh, talking just about the uh, white balance or the color balance uh, from the camera, also to the to the eye, it looks sometimes depending on the lighting, it looks sometimes bluer or purple. So it's hard to say. Let's take a look at the pen, and this pen is called Rodring Initial. I really like the shape of this pen. Well, now let's take a look. On the top of the cap, it has a red ring that gives the name road ring to the brand. Then the, the cap goes straight and then it flares out at the cap lip. And in this side, it says Germany and in the other side, it has road ring there. It has a clip which is quite interesting because it has this kind of continuation there but this allows it to be spring-loaded and it works quite well. On the cap lip it says, it says APC system and the APC system is a uh, I think it's, it meant atmospheric pressure compensation, so or air pressure compensation, which means the channels on the feed. It was getting a little hard to show you. The channels on the feed um, makes the compensation of the pressure, so this pen would be perfectly suitable to take in a plane, because there would be no leaks. As far as I tried, and I fly flight with the, with this pen maybe two times and it worked well. The pen is all made of metal, here it is metal also, like a lacquered metal with this color which is between blue and purple and then it has the shiny bottom of it. All rounded, not many uh, flat surfaces. The cap comes out just by pulling it has some ridges there, it has a, a frosted matte surface but with some ridges to give more, uh, more uh, easy to, to hold. I find that smooth sections are, for my fingers at least, are sometimes better than these frosted ones. Then it has a cap, it has a, this black uh, part here on the end of the section which grabs the inner cap and closes the pen and it closes quite well and it is also quite uh, has a quite good uh, air seal and there you can see rotring and F for the fine nib and the, the feet. The nib it has this kind of a spear head shape and when you unscrew the barrel you have metal threads, all metal, then you have a converter and or you can put international cartridges as you prefer. And something that I want to show you because this is all metal not sure if I will be able to show that to you because this is all metal, the cap when it touches the barrel it removed the lacquer in this 
reach there because when I put the cap it touches there and removes the, the paint in that place but when you're holding the pen you will not see it just if you look like that so I think this is a, an interesting pen it has an interesting shape I have to say that I like it it is it's very different from anything else and I like it a lot now this pen may be, may have maybe 20 years old it is long it's very comfortable to hold I find it, it has the little step there but the section is long enough for you to hold it where you want you can post it it posts securely but it doesn't post deep the cap is not very heavy but I think it affects the balance of the pen I prefer to use the pen and post it as I usually prefer my pens this way it is quite long and quite good to use I think this is really an interesting uh, model by Roderick all metal now I, I would like to show other Roderick pens and to show how it fits into their collection but it's quite hard I have here Roderick Rivet and there is not much in common maybe except for something about the shape of the nib but not quite the same I have here a Roderick Skin which is a strange pen because it has this very uh, this has, it has a, a gel part that is very soft there to hold the pen you say you can see the skin there and it has this very strange and ugly cap that is removed like this and you have this rotary nib so it's not <laughs> similar at all and then I have the very famous Rotring Core, which is a big pen with a nib that is not similar at all, nor the shape or anything. So when I try to show these pens into the, my collection of Rotring pens, I don't think these will fit anywhere, or maybe the other ones won't fit into this. I really think this is a nice, classy pen with a very nice design. It looks modern, at least. And then just to compare sizes with a Parker Centennial Do Fold this time I went for the blue marble which I think it's nice and also a La Mi, not a Safari this time but AL, uh, AL, uh, an All Star with uh, the Pacific Blue and you can see the rod ring is longer than the other two and it is also girthy as girthy as the Parker Centennial Fold and when we have the pens unkept and unposted because I think this is the way they are meant to be used you will see that the rod ring is a little bit longer with a nib that is maybe a little bit bigger than the nib of the Lamy but obviously smaller than the nib of the Parker Centennial Fold this pen you can find it uh, or you could and I think you still can find it for around 70 euros and what I have to say about this this has a pen with a very good balance very good uh, shape it it feels very nice in the hand and very comfortable to write with so I would say if you find this pen for 70 euros or even 100 euros go for it if you are interested in it because I think this pen is really worth it the nib is made of steel no gold nibs and it is a stiff nib there is no flex but let's see that on the writing sample and here we have the pen and the paper and let's see so this is the rod ring and this is the initial I will call it blue because I don't know if this color has any specific name with a fine steel nib the paper that I'm using is the usual Rodia dot pad and the 
ink is Mont Blanc. And this is when it's called the Twilight Blue. As most of my Mont Blanc inks, it's not available anymore. It's a very dark blue, but I think it's a very nice one. It has some greenish tones. So, about this pen, I would say this is a fine nib, yes, but more like a German, and this is a German pen, more like a German fine nib. It puts down a lot of ink, so I would say it is quite thick line. One thing that this nib has and makes me... It's strange because I didn't notice when I got this pen many years ago and only recently I inked it again after many years and now it makes a clicking sound when the nib hits the paper. I don't know if you can hear it. But I checked and the nib is flush with the, with the feet, so I don't know what happened. I never removed this nib. But I hear that sound, which is a little bit annoying. But it happens when I lift the pen and then I touch the nib on the paper again. About the performance, this pen writes really well and keeps up with uh, quick writing. About the line variation, you can try to force it, but it is a stiff nib and you will not have any line variation. When you try to write in reverse, it is scratchy and then it uh, becomes dry and doesn't write anymore. So it is a good fine medium nib, although it is a marked as a fine. It makes that clicking sound which is annoying, but I don't know why it does that. It didn't used to do it. And so overall is a very nice pen, uh, the rotring initial. I I really like it. Of course there is also the the part that the pen was given to me by my mother, so I like it a little bit more. But this this pen is is really good. It it writes really well. No flex, not anything, just a hard fine nib, but performs very well every time and it doesn't dry inside the cap. So I would say it is a very good pen. I think, in my opinion, this is a kind of a businessman pen, not for the ones who like to show off a nice Montblanc pen, but if you just want to show a very nicely designed pen, I think this is one example of it. And Opposite to other rotring pens, I think this is a very uh, subtle design and very nice. So, this is all I had to show you about the performance of the pen. Very smooth, almost no feedback. I like it a lot. So, I have to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope maybe you saw a pen that you didn't know of before and now you are interested in getting one or trying one someday and to check for yourself what you can take out of this pen as a pleasant writing experience. So, I'll see you next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and bye.